Good afternoon everybody from the city of Haiphong here in northern Vietnam or as I'm calling it, Vietnam's greatest city Vietnam's friendliest city For me this is like one of the greatest places I've ever been I absolutely love it here Xin chào How are you my friend? Good, good Absolutely incredible place, I love it <laughs> Just full of characters, so we're just going for a walk around We've got no plan we're just going to meet some incredible people because like 95% of people in Haiphong are nothing but characters so the funniest people ever so straight up bloody love it so let's just go and have a look look at them go with all the stuff on the bike what's our mate got he's like a scrap collector or something he collects stuff on this little wagon I have no idea what it's all going on We've just stumbled across somewhere really special. This is a really good little find here in Haiphong. We've got a beautiful Buddhist temple. Unlike any we've seen before, we've got this. Oh, there's some ducks in the dragon. This huge stone dragon, which is really cool. There's some ducks in there. I don't know what they're up to. Well, let's go for a little walk around these grounds. You can hear the monks chanting over there as well. We've got the bridge going over this little pond area. So peaceful, it's well nice. It's like a little oasis here in Haiphong. Xin chào. Oh wow, look at the... Um, like tiered pagoda. Yeah. Dep, dep, dep. Very beautiful. Really peaceful little spot. I think we'll sit here for half an hour and just relax. Yeah, what a little place. Love coming across places like this. This place is honestly amazing that we've found. It is so beautiful, so calm, so tranquil. Yeah, what a little find. And it's free to enter. Obviously you can make a donation, but there's no entry fee. It's not like a massive tourist track, it's just like a local little temple, which is, which is incredible. across the road from that stunning temple. There's a beautiful little lake. There's actually a few around this area. It's a geezer here. I don't know what he's doing on that little homemade tin boat he's made, but such a nice place, honestly. It reminds me of where we've just been in Laos, in Pong Sali, in like extreme northern Laos, near enough on the China border. Really reminds me of there. It's got that feel. A bit smelly though, this lake. A bit whiffy, but... Really nice. It's a super local area. We've still not seen a single other foreign tourist here in Haiphong. Not a single one. Hello. Again, the areas we just keep finding here in Haiphong are super smart. Got a proper local market here, looks well cool, doesn't it? In the old buildings. We're not off for a market hunt today though, so won't be going in, but maybe keep your eyes peeled for a later video. What are these blocks doing down here? Probably gambling, aren't they? Playing some sort of, sort of game on the street. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's a job. I don't know what they're playing. I think they're just gambling playing some sort of that little board game. Xin chào. Xin chào. I love it here, everyone is so stern-faced. 
honestly so stone face you've just got to break the ice and give him the, the big hello and just see hello Xin Chao how are you <laughs> iPhone number one <laughs> and then you've got to crack them up like that and the stone face just completely changes the proper they're just genuine people really good people here no bullshit Absolutely no bullshit. They are just straight up. Hey, as if luck would have it, we're just pretty much just walking around town. We walk over the train tracks that run through town. We're like, why is this geezer sat on the bloody train track? Next minute, bells start ringing, they're pulling the things over. The train's going right now, down this little street. Again, put your hand on your train street in the bin. Look at this. No bloody Tory scams here, is there? Let's see what happens. Proper cool, it literally goes straight through the city. Ah, here comes the train. Oh, mate's here. Ah. This is really funny because everyone's actually stopped here at the stop line. And everyone is just staring at us. Put your hand on your train street in the bin. It's proper cool, ain't it? Well, that's it. Everyone is looking at us. I mean, everyone is like staring at us. I know, I know. What are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's really cool, isn't it? I absolutely love Python. Such a smart player. Here we go. Here we go this way. That's it. They'll pull the guard back over and then look, that's it, all the traffic will just fly through. So much traffic just built up in about 30 seconds. So many people. That <laughs> is so funny. Everyone stares at us so much, yeah. So many eyes on us at one time, it's well funny. Oh my goodness me. Who are you? Checking that dog bites. Are you friendly? Don't bite me. Look at this. It's like a bloody. It's like a bloody lion. Look at this. What is this I found? Oh, you're an absolute sweetheart. Look at this. Thing. It's got a lion's poop. It's got the lion's mane. Oh, I want this dog. I want this dog. It's giving me the paw saying, "Please stroke me again." I think I want it. Oh, I want this dog. That is so funny. Xin Chao. Oh, it's a little boy. You are hilarious, my friend. Look at this. Again, we have found ourselves somehow at the train tracks here in Haifong, and it is so cool. Honestly, the street goes down there, everyone's like sat on the train tracks and just like living their life by the train tracks. He's, he looks aggressive. Xin <laughs> chào. Does he bite? Does, does he bite? Bite? Bite. Oh, are we allowed past? Oh, he's scared. Come on. Scaredy cat. Hey, your bike's coming. Hello, Xin chào. Let's have a quick look down here. Leave it alone. <laughs> Xin chào. <laughs> oh, it's a garage. Ah, fixing bike. Super. What a little garage. Again, just right here by this train track. It's so cool, honestly. Look at this street. All the Vietnamese flags. There's people zooming up and down on bikes. Oh. He looks well aggressive. There's just an endless amount of time you could spend walking around Haiphong. What a city. We're getting bullied by the smallest dogs I've ever seen. Sorry, mate. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you went for me, I told you. The smallest dogs, the biggest bite. I don't know, it looked like you went for a bloody ankle, then the little whippersnapper. Ah. 
Okay, maybe we come back. Okay, we are full. Full. Okay, come on. Okay. Looks really good that. Goodbye. They sell the tech can there, they sell it everywhere. It's like a proper good old drinking food here in Vietnam, the raw duck blood. Oh yeah, it's delicious. I'll tell you what, I can't put the camera down. Honestly, as we're just walking through these streets. Oh, look at the poodles on the bike. Three poodles on one bike. This is what I mean, I can't put the camera down because we're just seeing some of the craziest, funniest things ever. And we're meeting so many characters. Like, the people are incredible here. So funny. Everyone waves, says hello, everyone stops. So the best people we've met. We're gonna have to stop here. Just seen a tea shop at the side of the road that sells Cha Chang lemon tea. Xin chào. Lantern, cho tôi chắc chắn một. Chắc chắn một một. Ten thousand. Yeah, ten thousand. Could have said also. What else have we got? Seven hundred mils. Oh wow, that is a lot of tea. Seven hundred mils of tea for. Oh, that's like 30 feet. Honestly, I honestly love wherever we are now in Haifong. I don't even know where we are. It's one of the greatest streets I've ever walked down in my life. One of the friendliest. Anyway, what's going on up there? That man's like pulling his hair out on the balcony behind me. Oh, it looks really good. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Goodbye. Let's give this puppy a try. Oh, really good. Super sweet, sugary. Got that kumquat taste for them. Also, a bit of a bitterness. Really strong tea flavour, so good. I'm gonna have to call it a day soon. There's just too many characters here in Haifong, too much going on. Could make about a hundred videos just walking down this one street. It is that good. Hello, xin chào. A lot of proper suspicious looking people as well. Proper suspicious looking people. Oh, they say Hai Fong back in the day was a proper gangster city. Like, who's that? And who's this? Absolute character again. They never end the characters. Proper cool little area around here. Are they ducks? Xin chào. Is it ducks? Ah, big ducks. They look really good, don't they? Sausage. Sausage. Ah, none. <laughs> Come in. That looks really good, doesn't it? Oh, just look, look where she's grilling, though. Holy moly. Next to the um, Bin River. Bloody hell. I don't know about that. Smell really good, though. Look really good. <laughs> the lady was funny. Everyone's so funny. It's like after work now, so there's so many people out. Everyone's just got off work, everyone's probably going to eat, going home. More pomelos, Vietnamese pomelos. They look really good. 10,000 for a little one. Yeah, go on. Let's get one, why not? While they're in season. Xin chào. Moi nin. Moi nin. Moi nin. So these ones are 10,000 and these are 15,000, the bigger ones. Now oh, these are really good. Xin chào. 
<laughs> Which one's a good one? I know, I want a, I want a good one. <laughs> 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 You'd hope so. Oh, that one? <laughs> good one? We trust her, we trust the choice in the pomelos. Boy. Boy, boy. Boy, boy. Boy, boy. 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 <laughs> come on. Okay, come on. Boy. Pomelo. I love it. It's like a, a grapefruit, but sort of not as bitter. No, a lot nicer. Really hard to peel though, I'll do that after. It's like you've got to peel through like two layers. Ciao, hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Goodbye. Bloody hell. Friendliest people in Vietnam. Honestly, they've got to be. I don't know what's going on down here. We've got like. So, um, bloody Vietnam. Propaganda flying out the speakers. Hello, xin chào. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's that massive piece of pork. Yeah, what is it? What is that? I don't know what this is. We just found this little store that looks super busy. Xin chào. Xin chào. Is this tit lon? Yeah, yeah. Tit lon. Oh, wow. Non. <laughs> that is so much meat. Look how much bloody pork is in this man's boot. It's like crispy pork, almost like chicharron. Look how much he's got. Super busy, so many locals here. Wow, look at him pack through that. That looks so good, doesn't it? It's proper hectic now, it's like absolute rush hour. What, what is this? Tit long. Tit long. That's a good meal. Is it pork? Tit long. Ah, it looks very good, very good. This is best in Hai Phong, number one Hai Phong. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh wow. Come on. Enjoy, enjoy. Goodbye. Maybe we try. I don't know. It's very, very cheap. Very cheap. Uh, yeah. How much is it? Bao Nil? Maybe. Oh, Polis. Oh. Polis. Come on. Ah! Really? Ah! Oh. Come on, come on! I know! I can't believe he's just giving us this! Try, 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 try! Sat nom, sat nom! Oh wow! It's fatty, it's salty! That is fantastic, I know! He's like the greatest chicharron man in all Hong Kong. What the hell? That's like a serving in itself. Oh. I can't even buy any now. Mm. Okay, thank you. Come on, have a nice day. Should I shoot off? Yeah. I feel bad. No. Fuck it. Okay, come on, come on. Chuck, chuck my man. What the hell? Set non, set non. Goodbye. I probably would have bought that, but he's literally given us that much of this pork. Okay, one. Oh, amazing. Non, non. So good. Goodbye. Okay. Hai Fong is incredible. I didn't know what to do there. I thought, what the hell? I feel so bad. I, I feel privileged to have been given that much pork. Look what he's given us. We got, let's try some of the crispy now. Right, look at the fat, that is ridiculous. Oh my word. I bet I'll give you a crunch factor on this. Oh. Oh, oh. You probably can't hear the crunch because it's that big, but that is some crunchy, fatty, juicy. Some of the juiciest pork I've ever had. Holy whack-a-mole. What do you think? Look at how oh, juicy. Oh, it's dripping it's with fat. Dripping. That was so kind. Unbelievable. I don't. 
the guy who owned the store was amazing. Everyone around there. Oh, super nice. I'm going to have to leave it here. I'm going to have to turn the camera off. I bloody love Hong Kong. Friendliest city in Vietnam. Most underrated city in Vietnam. The city with the most characters in Vietnam. The best city in Vietnam.